Hello, Brat TV fans. My name is Gosu Loba, and welcome to the Brat Universe. Um, most of you must be wondering why uh, Brat Universe haven't been active on YouTube, and you you must be wondering what happened to our old account, that's our account on Instagram. Well, the reason is um, Instagram just decided to punish us by deleting our Instagram account. Uh, they said that we went against their their policy, but we we still don't know what we actually did. Cause all we did, all I did that day with uh, the the account was just I did a, a video call with a Brad TV fan who who wanted to be on the show. So after that day, they just you know deleted the account so i don't know i don't know the exact reason why they did that it must be uh, for me it must i think it must be uh, the instagram algorithm who maybe made a mistake or something but anyway it didn't affect our youtube channel but that's actually one of the reasons why we haven't posted or done any video uh, on our youtube channel so also thank you guys all for following us on youtube and thank you for those who have been following us uh who was following us not have been who was following us on our old instagram account which uh is the bright universe which is bright universe but anyway that account is gone so we decided to open a new uh bright universe account with the uh, with the username uh the brat universe so if you go on instagram right now and type the brat universe you would actually see our new account so guys please go ahead and follow so if you haven't watched uh yesterday's episode of crown lake season three uh i suggest that you stop the, you stop uh, uh watching this video right now and go ahead and check that video i think there will be a link uh up on this video somewhere or in the description so click the link to go watch uh yesterday's episode of crown lake but if you have watched the uh, yesterday's episode of crown lake then keep watching this video for the last few weeks i've been the target of rumors ridicule mockery and pranks So if I'm going to be crucified for being someone I'm not, I might as well be honest about who I am. I'm not writing this to clear my name or to point the finger at anyone else. I broke up with someone I couldn't love because I realized something about myself. I'm gay. No one deserves to be treated like this. Do better, Crown Lake. So yesterday's episode of Crown Lake was something else. It was fun. I really enjoyed. It was it was amazing. Uh, first of all, let's talk about Ari. Ari coming out as gay. We all know that Ari uh, Ari likes uh, Ari loves uh, Lisa. That's the reason she she broke up with her boyfriend. Ari, Ari has always been ready to come out as gay but Lisa isn't ready because one Lisa is scared two is not easy coming out as gay we all know that it's not easy it can be scary most of the times so but also what pushed Ari to come out as gay this time around is Hedda let's not forget that Hedda is in this series in crown lake as a whole hedda is the key point everything has to do with hedda 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 who we still don't know who hedda actually is we just know the name hedda someone who bullies who bullies uh kids and stuff so ari comes out as gay which is a very a very nice a very nice thing for her she came out as gay because there have been rumors about about her rumors that are not true about her so she decided okay since everyone is saying stuff something bad about her some things that she didn't do then she might as well just come out with the truth about what she actually did so 
there is where she wrote this article uh and the famous website created by morgan mcquaid in uh which is called uh, the white rabbit yeah that's morgan's app so anyway talking about morgan morgan is really a badass <laughs> I like I I've I've always I've always loved uh, Morgan. Uh, I've always loved that character in this in this series. She she's a badass. I love I love uh, her attire. I love her dresses. I love her earrings. Everything about her, her hair, her look is just it's just awesome. It's just it's so cool with the leather jackets and stuff. It's so cool. So morgan gets her app back from from heather that's a good news you know heather took over morgan's app i think a day after the app was launched or i think it's that day no i think it is a day after morgan's app was launched um heather took over the app and morgan couldn't get the app back we know we know that for for episodes now morgan have been trying to get her app back from Heather, which she haven't been able to to do until thanks to Aries to Aries uh, article on the White Rabbit, there were too much traffic, too much traffic uh, to the site, that's to the app. And according to Morgan, the app wasn't built to handle that kind of traffic. If you don't know what it, uh, traffic is, what it actually means is that there's a lot of people, you know visiting that site at a particular time which could crash the site if the site isn't if the site isn't built to handle like a large number of people at the same time so on this case a lot of people were visiting the site and the site crashed and morgan was able to get the app back from her which is which is kind of a relief for her because she had been trying so hard to get that app back Anyway, Molly gets framed for something she didn't do. We all know that during uh, Molly's dis uh, disciplinary hearing, uh, the hearing was about Molly putting on trousers instead of, uh, you know, the normal uh, girl wear that skirt. So that's the reason for her the, uh, disciplinary hearing. But in that case, the school started protesting. Molly gets framed, and I think Electra is involved. I think she is the one who framed Molly. And in all this, I think Heather is highly involved in this. Because if you if you check if you check that video during uh Molly's uh disciplinary hearing, uh Electra was looking at uh Molly's backpack because they know that immediately the students joined joined Molly and started protesting. They know that they couldn't do anything, they couldn't do anything to her. So the best the best way was to frame her so they framed her for cheating in a test which she actually didn't do so i think electra framed uh electra not i think electra framed molly by putting those uh those uh answer those answers uh in her backpack but i i, I really do think that all this is actually heather's idea so because Heather wants Molly to stop investigate, in, investigating. Just like uh, she uh, Heather told Lisa that the only way she can stop bullying her is if Molly stops investigating about her. That's if Molly stops in, investigating about Heather. So I think Heather, Heather got Molly framed so that she could stop investigating. She got her under house arrest. And also, I think Heather is also controlling the principal. That's Mrs. Baker. Uh, aka tiffany so i think heather is controlling i think i think seeing this i think heather heather has everyone in that school on her fingertips heather controls everyone in that school that's the only reason why she knows that molly is even investigating her because the only people who know that molly was investigating about heather was oh the principal also knew because molly have asked her questions a lot of times and then lisa knows ari knows i think heather heather knows everything heather knows everything she she actually knows a lot and you can't do anything in that school without heather actually knowing so that's kind of 
sad though but seriously if i was molly if i'm molly i wouldn't stop i wouldn't stop investigating because this is something that has to do with a dead person this is something that has to do with lucy lucy died in that fire that night if i was molly i wouldn't stop looking to find out who Hera really is and what actually happened the night of the fire 25, 25 years ago i think the uh, the principal uh, mrs baker which is uh, actually tiffany she knew what happened that night i think you know this she's she's trying to cover up she's trying to cover up for her so that people would know that she was involved but we already know that she was involved so i don't even understand what she's covering up maybe uh Hedda is threatening her as well or something i don't know and also threatening Hedda is threatening uh, uh electra as well because that's the only reason why uh electra could could you know be able to frame molly she has she has help she has uh, maybe she's working with Hedda. we don't know even maybe uh tiffany could be working with Hedda at the moment because she has always been working with Heather even when she was a student at Crown Lake. So she could be working with Heather. So anyway, again, if you haven't seen uh, uh, this episode, yesterday's episode, please go see it right now. And thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video and follow Brat Universe on Instagram at the Brat Universe and also on Facebook at Brat Universe. And I don't know where you'll be watching this video but if you are watching from somewhere else please check out check us out on youtube at the brat universe and subscribe to our youtube channel and also keep watching brat tv and brat universe bye